Alright, uh, continuing on with videos. I'm just finishing up strip number, I believe it's 10. And let's see how we're. about 170 and a half so we still have to remove material off the uh, this side so again I'm supporting with my finger here this is really important we don't want to and see I put a little reinforcing patch on and that's because on this violin the grain is angled on the top see the grain is actually going like this to get a uh, longer vibrating length on the top plate and because of that the grain's particularly weak right over here so I put a patch on just kind of a preventive measure yeah, this is going to go down to here and we'll go down here Let's try the other direction. Okay, let's get an idea how we're coming. A little below. Above. Again, come through. So if we go right between the two inner sound holes, which would be a normal place we'd tap. Compare that to 176, go a little below, sounds lower, go a little above, sounds above. So whatever the frequency is on this side, it's same on the other side. Okay, now we need to move our strip. We're going toward the bottom of the instrument here. So this would be starting strip number 11. And uh, the tape will help keep us on track here without getting lost. Alright, so again we're listening. We want this entire area to be even first. So we're going to make kind of where it's the lowest. It's pretty low, slightly lower, lowest. Da, 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 da. So this is the area that needs most attention. And I'll straight away. And see where the other base, the old base bar was, which was obviously replacing. It was uh, way too low in frequency, so... Okay, so we're going to work on this area in the middle here. Maybe the grain will work better in this direction. Yep. It's a cleaner shaving. Again, we're supporting the pad. And across this line, we've already tuned this part up here. And because of this old base bar glue, might have to use a little sandpaper here too. Want to be sure to keep a nice line here. All right, see where we're at. Just feel it's not uh, 
I go in a good direction with the wood grain. Again, I forgot to start the timer. And the top here is a little bit high. a little uh, experience you'd probably do a good job tuning the plate um, this fine tuning is graduated and so on in about an hour if there's not much time if it makes a difference okay let's see how See what it is. Sounds lower, it's higher, lower, higher. About 170. Okay, now it's 176. That's 170. So we find the side of the strip that's attached to the center valve area, which is there. And store the line. All right. So we need to take material from the outer about three quarters inch. So it's this area to raise the strip up. So again, we're going to support with our fingers beneath here. So this is a case where the this material in this wing is going to play an important um, important role in getting the frequency right. Now there's some blue on the top here, and that's because it's got to be a little bit of wood removed. I'm just taking a sharp little gouge and just take a little strip off here. So it can do its part. There's 176. I go a little low. It sounds like a little high. Okay. So I'd say we've done that one. Let's go do another one here. Next one below. If that was um, 10, this would be 11. Let's do 12. Same thing. We're going to um, go along and find the high spots, remove the high spots, make it even, and we'll raise or lower the whole tone strip to our goals, whatever it happens to be. In this case, it's 176. It's right here. This is slightly higher. Again, we scrape this direction. We don't want to go over the line above here, which we've already tuned. Okay. 
All right, so this is a strip. We got the tape there to prove it. I'm supporting the plate. And we use the uh, sandpaper again. Okay. It's right alongside the and taping that. Okay, it's pretty even. Let's see what we got. And lower and lower. It's about the same. A little bit higher. So we're about 170. And that's the difference. Of okay, so the side that's connected to the center bout would be this end. So from right here all the way up to here would be the going upside. Okay, about three quarters of an inch. So this is the area we're going to be adjusting. Okay, let's see what we're doing here. Below 176 above. And 76 sounds a little bit high. It's not much. We're talking probably half of a half a hertz, something like that. So let's use our sandpaper here to sneak up on this. A clean piece here. Okay, let's try it again. 176 sounds either higher or lower. Let's go low. Sounds low. Let's go high. Okay, so we're back in. Okay. And we just have two left. And... And next to the last, the penultimate strip. Okay, so the area um, down at the bottom is the highest, so. Cross grain. Would them like it? That's the direction we're supposed to be going. A base bar material here, in the blue. All right, now. Uh, Restore the line. I'm going to lose that. Okay, let's see what we're doing here. Let's use our sandpaper to even out the fix uh, of scraper. Use that. Try to even the sand that. There we go. Right next to the um, 
corner here there's a little bit of a high spot. Let's see. Okay, that's where we're at. Okay, my tape fell off the side, I'll put it back on. Hello. Sounds all right. Sounds high. Right. So we're up 172. Uh, so the side connected to the center bout, which goes from here to there, is it where we want to remove a little material. Same thing going about the last three quarters inch. We only have to go a little bit up, so I'll use the sandpaper. Okay. to go. Alright, I'm probably running out of time, but we'll just go a little higher. Go lower. Go higher. Matches everything else. Now, this last little strip, you know, this is marked off. That's this little area and this area down here. So, this is to lower it, and that's to raise it, to raise it, to lower it. So, you make this even in the middle, and then you adjust it. So, let's just see what we got. So, the two corners are a little bit higher. Not so easy to do about that. And this corner's a bit high. Okay. Now we're almost out of time. So that's pretty even. Okay, let's see where we're at. That'll be about 172. I'm going to go higher because this side connects to the center about. 